I wanted to go over uh, setting up an Avid bin display today. Um, I'm working kind of on a feature film again, and so uh, just setting up your bin display is just really helpful so you can be more efficient with your work. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to have a, a bin open. Uh, as you can see, I have the Avid default DV25 project that comes with downloading Media Composer. If you don't have this, you can get it off of the Avid website. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and jump in right away. There's two different ways that you can set up your bin display. You can either grab a bin and you can come down here to the bottom left and we have the defaults, the capture, film, format, media tool, and statistics. Um, so you look at these and you kind of figure out you know, what you want to do. Obviously, some are better than others depending on what you're doing. Um, you can sort the bin by hitting Command E, and they'll sort by name. Again, there's no endpoints on these clips, so they're going to look kind of goofy. You can sort them by drive by doing the same thing. Those are all going to be on the same drive. Anyway, moving on to bin display items. Um, the easiest way I like to do this is I pull open my main Avid project uh, folder. It has all my bins, folders, everything in here. I'll go into my settings, and I can see that uh, first there's a bin. Um, I can change my autosave, and I can change my bin view. Uh, I'll click on custom, and I'll just decide which ones I want to be selected. So my audio format, uh, I'll do camera because we're using some uh, different formats that will leave uh, what uh, camera roll, camera roll, and camera we were shot, shooting with. Do a creation date, my disc label, drive duration, format for the heck of it. Um, we're working on Avid 4.0.5, I believe, so I can kind of see we're gonna have a couple mixed formats that we're hoping won't be too much of a big deal uh, because of that uh, interchanging depending on the format we shoot with um, and then we will also I'm, I'm gonna want my scene real number and my take on there as well as my sound roll and the star track um, anyway I've got this set up here I'm just gonna kinda gonna see if it's offline or not anyway uh, you can kinda figure out which ones you want to have up here. You hit OK, and then it's still called Custom. So what I'll do is I'll go to Custom, and there they are. I've got them all right here. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take, I want my duration first. I'll take my scene, my take, and after that, I'm not really that picky, but I will put take in the correct spot. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to hit save as and save it as Bryce. Hit OK. So once you move it, you will notice that it becomes Bryce.1 now. So you're just going to do a save as. Hit OK. Replace. Thanks for coming to postfifthpictures.com and checking out uh, our blog. If you'd like to see more videos, let me know, and I will do my best to do some screen capture walkthroughs instead of some written-up tutorials. Thanks a lot. Bye.